Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be chosen ones. They not like us. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, chosen ones, they not like us. Okay? See, us chosen ones, we are not of this world. Yes, sir. Us chosen ones have a different mindset. Yes, sir. And us chosen ones have a different frequency as well as energy. Okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say I'm different. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say I'm different. Now, I need y'all to stay tuned in to the very end of this video, especially if you are a chosen one. And matter of fact, y'all go ahead and drop that in the comments as well. Chosen, if I'm speaking directly to you, okay? Now, we're about to go ahead and get directly into this video, y'all. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, y'all. Y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's go ahead and get into a chosen one. So I had to make this, y'all, because I've been seeing Kendra Lamar record trend, y'all, for actually probably the last uh, three weeks, two weeks, okay, ever since the whole fiasco with him and Drake. But see, I got the revelation from it, y'all. Oh, yeah, I got the revelation from it. And in his record, he was saying they not like us. Right? And so Chosen Ones immediately, it hit me. Okay? It hit me. Slapped me straight across my head, y'all. They are not like us, Chosen Ones. <laughs> we are different. We are unique. Okay? We are not of the world. They are not like us. All right? And so in this video, y'all, I had to give y'all the five signs of how you know they're not like us. All right? So number one, y'all, it's going to be this family. Uh, we have a divine purpose. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, we have a divine purpose, all right? So, Reno, what do you mean by that? When I say a divine purpose, y'all, we have a calling that God has called us to, all right? We have a purpose. We have a mission in life. If you got a purpose, go ahead and drop in the comments and say, I have a purpose, okay? See, God has given you an assignment, and it's time for you to fulfill it. Okay, or you probably are already fulfilling your assignment. You have a divine purpose. Okay, y'all, when you think of, you know, people who are, who are preachers, uh, people who are um, in good industries, right? I'm not saying the evil satanic industries, but people who are in good industries, okay, serving a purpose. Um, even teachers, y'all, you don't have to uh, be a multi-millionaire to have a great purpose in life, right? Um, when you're thinking about teachers, uh, caretakers, when you're talking about um, doctors, you know, y'all, the other day, y'all, I was thinking about a surgeon, okay? And a surgeon has a specific purpose in life okay um that's more than school this person was born to save lives right i'm not saying that was born to be above god but born to save lives in terms of they have a specific gift okay and uh being well i would say in helping people out in surgery cutting people just being specific in particular in that particular field right um polish y'all that's another person or uh another profession y'all that i personally feel like people have to have a specific you know calling or purpose in that right you can't just wake up and say you know what this is what i want to do right you know what i think i just want to start flying planes you can't just wake up and say that y'all you got to have a specific purpose for that and so what i'm saying y'all you yourself have a divine purpose whatever that is okay whatever that is maybe you are a, a, a speaker y'all maybe you are a preacher a, a, a pastor okay uh, a artist all right somebody who like to paint and draw and whatever that divine purpose is god will make sure you be called to it and you're going to step directly into it and and that is where you're going to find your greatness. That is how your gift is going to make room for you and usher you into the presence of great men and women, okay? Kings and queens. But sticking to the point, y'all, us chosen ones, we have a divine purpose. See, other people, y'all, who are not chosen, they just out here just walking around, y'all. They not doing nothing. They're not trying to do anything with their lives. They're just out here taking up space, okay? See, when you are chosen, you're not just taking no space. You have something that you are trying to do. Every day, y'all, I get up because I have a purpose. 
Every day y'all like get up because I have a mission. When you start seeing people who are not getting up, okay, and taking care of their business, taking care of their purpose, chasing something, all right? And I'm not just talking about dollars. I'm talking about a purpose, something that don't only benefit them, but other people who are around them. See, when you got that divine purpose, that is what that is what give you the conviction that you uh, that you need, y'all, to get to the next level. And so with that being said, y'all, chosen ones. They are not like us, all right? If y'all are picking up what I'm putting down, drop in the comments and let me know, okay? Number two, it's going to be this, family. You are uncontrollable. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you are uncontrollable, all right? And so what that simply means is, y'all, you have a mind of your own, all right? When you are uncontrollable, y'all, you think for self. Somebody drop in the comments and say, think for self. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, think for self. And this is where you become powerful, right? When you begin to think for self. Y'all, I'm sure y'all probably seen the TLC movie. Um, I can't remember how how soon it came out, how late it came out, but I just end up seeing it, I think, the beginning of this year or the ending of 2023. Anyway, y'all. Um, TLC was a group that was from Atlanta, right? I'm sure y'all know Left Eye, Chili, and I forgot the other one name, y'all. But um, they were young, very young, right? And so they got signed to L.A. Reid at a young age. L.A. Reid, and I'm not trying to, you know, um, I would say tear down another black man. I'm, that's not my intentions, or those are not my intentions. But as far as according to their story, y'all, you know, this is what happened, right? But what I'm saying is, is that they were very young. Okay, very young. And they was able to be manipulated, taking, um, you know, being able to be controlled, right? Because they didn't understand the music business. So you got music, and then you have business. You got music, and then you have business, okay? The show, and you have the biz. Understand something, y'all. They had the show down pet. They can sing, they can dance, rap, do all these things. However, y'all, they were taken advantage of because of their naivete, all right, Rena, what are you saying right now? See, they were controllable, but the moment they began to ask questions, the moment they began to ask about publishing, masters, the whole nine, y'all, this is where the record label deemed them as a problem. Are you a problem now? Because you want to know what we got going on behind the scenes. No, you just stay right there and you keep doing your show. You keep dancing. You keep doing your thing, right? They don't want you to be smart. And see, the reason why I say chosen ones, they are not like us, it's because you are uncontrollable. You stay on your business. You stay on your game. You stay on point. You stay sharp. You are well-rounded. You are intelligent. You know where you're going. Do y'all understand where I'm going with this? Okay, follow me, y'all. When you are uncontrollable, y'all, you are you are automatically set aside from the entire world, y'all. The entire world are basically sheep. Okay, when I was working in the airport, family, when I seen people, they will basically follow wherever the people went, right? And so this is why I learned crowd psychology. So I I noticed like where there's a lot of individuals, y'all. People just go that way, okay? They can literally be going to their demise or their destruction because they're following other people. It's crowd psychology. It's no different, y'all, when you see a person just start, I don't know what, just start running, right? Y'all see it all the time on these movies. They starting to show it on skits now, but people just start running. And then they'll be like, oh, I'm just running because I see this person running. That is crowd psychology. Rena, what are you saying right now? When you are not following in the footsteps of crowd psychology, that separates you or differentiates you from everybody else. Chosen ones, they not like us. See, they are able to be controlled, but you are not, okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, you can't control me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, you can't control me. Moving on to the next one, y'all. It's going to be number three, family, and that is uh, you are often misunderstood, right? You are often misunderstood. And so um, I actually suffer with this one the most, y'all. Um, a lot of people may think that I think I'm superior. A lot of people may think that I feel as if I'm better than them. A lot of people may think that, you know, I'm snooty or whatever the case is, y'all. But I just have morals, principles, and standards. And not only that, but I'm not just going for anything, right? And so I can notice that. And this right here goes for family members, friends, uh, on the job especially, y'all. Um, 
people who you probably have been associated with y'all they probably notice how you move and they're like uh i don't really like dude right there right or i don't really like her because you know they just feel like they just better than everybody okay or you are uh, you oh i get this from a lot y'all people think i'm a smart you know what right we're gonna keep it clean for youtube but a lot of people think i'm a smart you know what and so i think a lot of people get misconstrued where you know a lot and thinking that you know it all now i know some know-it-alls okay but when you know a lot you can't help that you are knowledgeable you read you are wise and you have utilized your experiences to learn from okay and so understand something y'all this will make you uh misunderstood right especially when you're not the type of person who just want to follow behind everybody misunderstood you can't hang out with us why you don't want to hang out with us right that's the number one question you probably get okay let's just say you are you are on your job and after you know work guess what or i would say while on break when you are on break people are trying to get you to hang out right you're like, yo, I'm good. I'm chilling. I think I told y'all the story, y'all. When I was um working at the airport, I always liked to write in my book. My first book, Fairly Unequal. I would always like to write in my book. I don't want to hang out. I don't want to shuck and jive. I don't want to tell jokes. Okay? And most y'all, I would probably get me something to eat for, uh, from Popeye's or Burger King, right? Because that's pretty much all I had access to. But uh, I would do that, and that's pretty much it. I'm not about to shuck and jive. Listen, y'all, I got things to do. And so, again, you can be misunderstood, uh, especially when you stand with morals, too. When you stand with morals, all right? And a lot of times, y'all, uh, us chosen ones, yeah, we are kind. We're very kind, but we're not going to allow people to take advantage of us, especially the seasoned chosen ones. When you seasoned, yeah, you done been through a lot of things, y'all. So you get to a point where you're like, oh, I'm not about to let you take advantage of me. I'm, I'm not going to allow you to take advantage of me. I done been there, done that, right? If y'all been there, done that, somebody drop in the comments and say been there, done that, right? But sticking to the point, y'all, you are often misunderstood, okay? And these individuals, you can pick them apart as soon as you meet them, okay? Because you tell the whole world who you are whenever you open up your mouth, right? And see, another thing, y'all, when you are... Uh, an observer you are the type of person who don't really say too much you watch not for what you can do but for what you shouldn't do okay that's a wise step y'all when you're not watching to do but you're watching to see what you shouldn't do that makes you misunderstood because oh you can't talk to nobody oh you think you better and the list goes on and on and on and on however y'all you are often misunderstood but don't change for nobody okay now evolving and growing and becoming a better person is different however y'all don't allow nobody to psych you out of your chosen one ability that makes sense of what i'm saying y'all getting to the next one y'all is going to be number four you have a genuine heart chosen ones they not like us they are takers you are a giver this is why you have to be mindful of who you allow in your circle because you are a giver if you're not careful, you'll be done gave away everything, okay? You give out food, you give out clothes, you give out advice, you give out everything, y'all. And so a lot of times people want to take advantage of that. This is why sometimes you got to be selfish. Yep, I said it, y'all. It's okay to be selfish. Somebody drop in the comments and say it's okay to be selfish, all right? Now, granted, y'all, I came from a family of like seven, right? Seven, eight, or nine, one of them. I have a big family, and I'm the only boy. So I have nothing but sisters, right? And so I grew up, you know, having to share. I don't know what it's like to be stingy. I was never the only child, you know. We had to share, off the rip and so that kind of goes with you maybe y'all came from big families too i don't know y'all drop in the comments and let me know but i came from a big family a big family so i had to share and so you kind of take that everywhere you go right but see everybody don't deserve that it's almost like a woman who wanted to be freaky for her man her husband right uh she want to do all type of things for her man her husband, her boyfriend, right? See, the thing is with that, that's okay. But you can't do that with every other man. You can't because why? They don't deserve it, okay? 
They don't deserve it. And so what I'm saying is, is that when you have that genuine heart, they automatically differentiate you from everybody else. You got a genuine heart. Okay, and so with that being said, chosen ones, this is why they are not like us. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get to the next one, family, which is number five, and that's gonna be this, y'all. You've been through much more. Okay, you've been through much more. All right, listen, y'all, we're gonna get real personal. If you've been homeless, drop in the comments and let me know. If your car has been repo, or if you had to go without a car for at least, at least five months drop in the comments and let me know uh if you've been through a divorce if you've been broken up with if you have had any type of heartbreak drop that down below in the comments if you lost a loved one drop that down below in the comments if you lost if you lost your job right the reason why i ask these questions y'all is because these are some pretty devastating things okay and if I miss anything, y'all drop that in the comments as well. But these are some devastating things. Reno, what are you saying right now? Chosen ones, they not like us. See, God give his strongest battles or his toughest battles to his strongest soldier. Somebody drop in the comments and say God's strongest soldier. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say God's strongest soldier. All right? Reno, what are you saying right now? See, you've been through so much, y'all. They won't be able to understand you anyway. Yeah, y'all. They won't be able to understand you anyway. Listen, you haven't been homeless like me. You ain't lost your car like me. Okay? You ain't been through the, the unthinkable like me. Okay? Therefore, I am maneuvering different than you. Okay? We're not the same. Right? We're not the same. Somebody drop that in the comments as well. We're not the same. Therefore, you think different. Therefore, you have more wisdom. Therefore, you have more knowledge. Therefore, you are moving, maneuvering different differently than them okay and so with that being said y'all you don't take that lightly all right they're not like you they're not like us all right chosen ones so with that being said y'all we're gonna go ahead and do a recap and then we'll conclude with this video so chosen ones they not like us okay the first reason or the first sign you have divine purpose okay number two uncontrollable all right you are uncontrollable number three uh you are often misunderstood Number four, you have a genuine heart. And number five, you've been through much more, okay, than a lot of people, y'all. All right, and so with that being said, y'all already know how we do. If you would like to purchase any one of my books, enroll into my social influence course, or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can do so by clicking the link inside my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace.